high school algebra, where did the 6 come from? All right, let's have a look. The question is, originally here we have 3 square root of 20, but somehow we end up with a 6 on the outside. So, how did that happen? Well, in this case, we are trying to combine these 3 square root numbers, and the first step is, we have to make sure we reduce all the square roots. Square root of 3 cannot be done, right? Just 3 times 1, that's pretty much it. But we can actually break down square root of 20. Let me show you how. We know the perfect squares are the first one, square root of 1 is 1, but that doesn't reduce anything, so let's begin with square root of 4, which is equal to 2. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. And then square root of 9, this right here is equal to 3, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. And then square root of 16, that will be equal to 4. And to get to the next number, of course we want to end up with 5. You just do 5 times 5, which is 25, so that means square root of 25 is equal to 5, and then so on, so on, so on. As you can see, we can use square root of 4 to break down square root of 20, because we can break this down as square root of 4 times square root of 5. If it's a multiplication, it's okay. 4 times 5 is equal to 20, so square root of 4 times square root of 5 is equal to square root of 20. And a small technical note is, you have to make sure that they are both positive numbers. And then right here we have 3 times square root of 20, so let's bring down the 3 right here, and keep in mind we are still multiplying. Now, for the square root of 4, that's just a regular 2. So we have 3 times, this right here is just a regular 2, and then times square root of 5. 3 times 2, aha! That's how we get a 6. So we have 6 times square root of 5, and you don't need to write down the dot. You can just put this down as 6 square root of 5. Hmm? Just like that. And of course, let's go ahead and finish this question as well. For the first one, 4 square root of 3. Square root of 3 cannot be reduced, so I'm just going to keep it. So 4 square root of 3, and then it was plus with this. yeah. And then for minus 5 square root of 45, how can we break down square root of 45? Hmm? Use these numbers. Which number can we use? The answer is 9. 9 times 5 is equal to 45. Do not use 3 times 15. Even though 3 times 15 is 45, but 3 is not here, 15 is not here. So, break down 45 as square root of 9 times square root of 5. Right here, we still have the minus and then the 5, and they are multiplying. Now, let me break down this 5 times square root of 9 is just a regular 3, and then times square root of 5, and then that's a minus. So 3 times 5, now 3 times 5 right here is 15, and then again we have to subtract, and then square root of 5. So you see, we can reduce this one, and we can reduce this one. And don't forget we still have this one all the way in the front, so let's write that down as well. 4 square root of 3, and that's a plus. Now, after we reduce these two square roots, is there anything that we can combine? Yes. When they have the same square roots, we can combine them. This one is square root of 3, so it stays. So 4 square root of 3. But, positive 6 square root of 5, minus 15 square root of 5, just go ahead and do 6 minus 15, that will give us negative 9, and then we keep the square root of 5. That's it. Final answer, 4 square root of 3 minus 9 square root of 5. That's it.